For the control early dragons that fiddlesticks, you want to solo the dragons. Now, um, to solo them, even if the enemy team has a scuttle crab, you can actually go around the scuttle. So you can see it's got a little radius around it, but you can actually stand on the side of the radius and E over the wall, have the dragon start to walk up, and then you can do it over the wall without ever being in the, the vision. I can, I'll show that later in the video, but uh, just so you know, that is a possibility, so don't let that deter you if that's the only thing. Um, it's going to take just over 20 seconds to do the dragon, um, assuming you have two smites up. So what you want to do is you want to smite at the start and end of the dragon. So um, each dragon's going to do different amounts of damage. The cloud actually does the most. But you can see even though the cloud does the most, it's still fine to solo. As long as you get the smite at the start of them. The reason you want the smite at the start is so that it gets a little lower. So that your drain does more damage each subsequent drain because it does execute damage. And so you see it just took just over 20 seconds. About 22, 23 seconds to solo it. Um, so you can always do it quickly if you think you're going to have a 20 second window there. You can use your blast cone over the wall to try to get in here if you don't think it's warded. Or if they have a scuttle and you think there might be a ward over here or something, you could always blast cone in. You can pull it from either side without being seen. So if I spawn a dragon here, even if you don't see the dragon, you can... Oh, it didn't spawn yet. So... Oh, there it is. So you, you, what you want to do is you want to pull it with your E, or it would be take a step back for a second, you walk up, and then you start draining. You'll get vision of it, and you can do it over the wall like this. And they won't have vision of you. Um, so yeah, each of the dragons do a little different things. So the ocean dragon will slow you, so it's going to be risky if you think you could get collapsed on. Um, the mountain is going to be the tankiest, but have the lowest DPS, because it has the most magic resist. Um, Cloud is going to have the highest DPS, um, because of how quick its attacks are. It, its attacks do less damage, but it has twice as fast attacks. So each of the dragons are a little different, but by and large, you can solo any of them. Um, so I'll show some examples of how to get the dragons. Here's an example of what it would look like in game. Um, they have vision of the scuttle here, and they cannot see the dragon going on at all. Well, really, what's happening is I'm standing right here doing the dragon um, without them knowing. And even if they did know, they wouldn't have much time to get here as long as you smite at the start and end of it. It only took me 22 seconds to actually do the dragon, even though I'm only level 4. Uh, you can see it died at 6.05, and it was started at. Um, 542. So, 23 seconds, even though I'm only level 4. So yeah, you can pull it like this. Uh, you can also bounce over with a blast comb, but that's a little riskier because you're going to be um, inside of the pit and you won't be able to get out without flash, whereas here, if they come from here, you can slip out the side. Um, the problem with this would be if they have words here, they might be able to see you, so... You know, there's some risks with both, so just take it as, as it goes. But you can see we're down 10-2 and we're still getting dragons at the level 4 fiddlesticks. As long as you have two smuts up, you can do it pretty quickly. Here's an example of a later game team fight where uh, the game's relatively even, but the enemy team's going for their um, infernal soul fight. And you can see they kind of walk up to it and we just gotta get engaged over the wall, so... This is what you'll be looking for in later game team fights, just getting ults over the wall, whether you're coming from this angle or from this side, or if they're on the other team, you'd want to be coming over this wall or this wall somehow, so. Yeah, basically, you, you never want to walk up. You always want to engage with alts, or else you won't be able to get a good alt off. I did get kicked out, but you can see the fight still works pretty well, getting enough fears off where we uh, end up securing the dragon. But yeah, that's gonna be how you want to set up a vision. You want to make sure you have a pink ward over here. Or be sure that they don't have wards in your jungle. You want to get that done beforehand. 
<clears throat> so that you can come in from multiple angles. They're not sure which way you're coming from. And right when they start it, you want to do the engage. You don't want them to have time to pull it out. So for later game dragon fights, it's going to be all about the setup and vision. So you want to be seeing which angle the enemy is coming from. But even more importantly, you want to know uh, that your jungle isn't warded. And this is so that you can get a good alt off and the enemies won't know which way you're coming from. So if you're on this side, uh, blue side, you want to either be here, um, where you can get the alt off over here, or down here where you can come from this angle. So most of the time we're going to be over here because teams are going to mostly be coming from mid lane. And if they're coming from mid lane, they're either going to come through here, right, right through the river, or a little safer up through here. But either way, they're going to have to funnel right through here. So while they're in this spot, you can usually get a good engage off, assuming that your team's nearby. Um, you want to alt in like while the team is pulling the dragon out. Or right before they walk up to the dragon. You don't want to wait for the enemy team to set up the dragon, pull it out, and be safe like all the way back here. Because they're not going to be able to get a good ult off no matter what. Unless you're in a really weird spot like you got deep into the enemy jungle. Which is not going to happen very often. So you want to engage early right before they pull the dragon even is ideal. Um, usually while they're walking up the river. So either here or over here. Um, if you're on red side, it's kind of going to be the same deal. If there, if there's a fight down here for some reason, you could be over here. Or the best spot is usually right around here. Um, because you can either all down into the river or over here if your team's... Because usually teams are fighting in the mid lane right before Dragon. So if the enemy team is ahead, they'll probably come through here. Your team will probably be around here. So there's likely going to be a fight here, or you can get an engage off while they're walking through, and then your team can follow up. So it's all about the setup with these dragons, and you want to make sure that your vision is set up beforehand so that the enemy doesn't know where you are. Because if there's only one spot you can be, uh, there's a good chance that they'll just, you know, put a blue trinket on it or <clears throat> be safe of it. But if there's multiple spots, like if by chance if you're on a red team and you can you see that the enemy team's over here, you can sneak all the way down here, um, get around up to here, and get an alt off over here. Then that could be like a crazy flank, but that's very risky because you're walking through a lot of things that could be warded. But always be looking to to come in from a different angle from your team. You don't want to be with your team. For these dragon fights you want to be away from them it's still in the safe spot but in a spot where you can get an alt off to flank the enemy team to push them into your team